Okay, I'm gonna do a blog. Uh, I just went, totally got my nerd on, man. I got my geek on. I went and seen the movie X Files, and it was pretty good. I mean, I I wanted a little more sci-fi from it, a little more ET kind of stuff, a little more supernatural. I don't know. It just it was kind of more of just a mystery, like just a regular movie with a couple of you know Mulder and Scully. I wanted more. Huh, more. I wanted I wanted to leave the movie. This is, this is what I want. When I go see an X-Files movie or watch an X-Files show, I, when I'm done with it, I want to sit there and I want to ponder the meaning of the universe and wonder where do we come from and what, you know. But I, I didn't leave this with that. Okay? I just left it with, huh. They solved the mystery. Okay. But it was still good. I mean, it, it was X-Files. But, okay, so I get up today, and I gotta go to leave to go to work. I have a flat. Man, I'm t I have so much bad luck with my car. Alright. I got a donut tire on the back. Okay, a new, because my rim is bent. Okay, a new rim costs $350 for my car. $350 brand new. So my brother's trying to find me one through some junkyard or something for cheaper. So far, the cheapest I've found one is a hundred dollars. That's a lot. <sighs> Excuse me. You know, I just, I don't really have that kind of money right now. And then, so, but I, I go on Sunday and my tire in the front's flat. And I just taken it two days earlier, or a day earlier, to this place and had them check it because it was almost flat. They're like, oh no, it must have just been a temperature thing, who knows, or, but it's fine. Okay, next day, flat today. So, it was too flat to drive to the gas station. At least the day before, it was almost like half flat. Anyway, my dad gets there, and he gets in the garage. I don't have keys to the garage. And, um, he gets the air tank, airs it up a little bit. Because he didn't put a lot of air in the tank, just enough to air it up enough. And then I drove around back, and then he used the air compressor to really pump it up, fill it up. Then I go to a different tire place. Two people I've known forever. My dad used to go there when he was a kid. Uh, it's called Peterman's Tire, and it's just, it's a bunch of old, old, uh, like, you know, redneck kind of people, you know? Just down-to-earth, real normal people, you know? And, uh, like this guy, his dad used to own it, now he owns it, his kid will probably own it, kind of thing. Anyway, turns out, this, it, they could plug it, but it's in a bad area, so they don't know if it's going to hold long. So I'm probably going to need a new tire in the front. So now that I need a new rim in the back and a tire in the back, I need a new tire for in the front. So I need two tires and a rim. What the hell, man? Then, so I, I get to work. I'm late. I was supposed to be there at 4 because today's Wednesday, but I forgot today was Wednesday, so I was going to get there at 5. I had to go to the bank to deposit money, which I didn't get to do because the tire was flat, so I missed going to the bank because they closed at 5. What the hell? I'm confused. I don't even know where I'm at in the story. So, finally I get to work. I take a delivery. Blah, blah, blah. And then they're, they're like, actually, they're like, hey, do you want to take this delivery and then go by the store and pick up some supplies? You can go home. I'm like, cool, whatever, fine. I haven't had a day off in over two weeks. So, I do that. And then I come back, but they're really busy. So, I work inside for like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, helping Lynn get everything caught up. We had a bunch of carryouts and dine-ins and all that kind of stuff. Then, um, what else? I don't know. Oh, I talked to Josie a bunch today. Uh, that was cool. I tried to see if she wanted to go out and have dinner, but she has to be at work at 7 in the morning. So she got to get up at like 5.30. <clears throat> so she's like, I don't want to. So maybe tomorrow, which will be... All right, we'll just say Thursday, because I don't know what day it is you're watching. I don't want you to see this on Thursday. Be like, oh, Friday, no, and it's really Thursday, because there's a time difference when I do this and when you watch this. Well, I'm confused. So, and then out of the blue today, I'm like on my way to the supply place, and I get a text from Sarah Anderson. I swear, man, sometimes I think something just like, I think it was a bug. I think it's because I got my light on. And 
when I was I had the light on earlier when I was down in my car and I think I had a couple of little little things fly around. I need to leave that light off when I'm looking for stuff with the door or have the doors closed so things don't fly in my car when I'm like looking for crap in the floorboard. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so that was cool. I heard from her. She's awesome. She is seriously. Sarah Anderson is the most adorablest young lady ever. She always makes me laugh and smile. She just she's funny and I, her. She takes the coolest pictures. I don't know. She's one of the people that when you look at her picture, you go, "Damn, she has fun." She is cool. But anyway, so uh, then I went to the place to talk to Josie. I've been texting with Tennessee Ashley. Uh, what else? I don't know. So then I'm like, Josie don't want to go have dinner. So I'm like, ah, okay. She's like, I think I'm just going to stop by Little Caesars and then go to bed. Uh, huh. I think I'll do Little Caesars. So I went by Little Caesars. So this is weird. So I go in to get my stuff. I get a pizza and stuff. I'm coming out because they're only like five bucks for pizza at Little Caesars. And they're, they're good. So I'm coming out. I'm not even paying attention really. I just like reach down, open the door, open up the car door. And it's not my car. I just freaked the holy hell out of some lady. Because I just opened her car door while she's just sitting there. She thinks I'm about to jack her or rob her or something. And I'm freaked out because my first thought is, why in the hell are you in my car? Then it dawns on me, oh, crap, this ain't my car. Then I'm apologizing. And she's like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, because she's just thanking God I'm not some carjacker. Yeah, it was. I just totally trying to grab getting someone else's car and she was in it and it totally freaked her out so uh, but uh yeah I, I, weird so I came home and sung a song I've sang uh, I've sang about 12 songs I just haven't been putting that up on MySpace I'm gonna try to do that some tonight so and I'm gonna try to go home maybe even sing a couple more tonight who knows who knows I'm off tonight, which tonight's almost over. It's almost, it's like midnight, but I'm off tomorrow. I got a lot of things to do tomorrow, though. And then Saturday uh, is Sarah Nichols' wedding, and it'll get together for Josie. Yay! But anyway, well, I'm gonna get home. So, I'm going to go in and try to post this crap and some videos and everything. I just thought that was weird, the whole thing. Oh, and then I had a, someone contact me earlier, and she's like, Hey, um, I don't know if I should or not. She goes, but I'm thinking about taking some Xanax. It's not prescribed for me, but I'm thinking about taking it. And I'm like, well, you know, I don't know a whole lot about Xanax. I'm thinking Xanax, because my boss used to take it, my old boss. He used to take it when he was stressed. His doctor prescribed it for him, and he took it when he was super stressed. So I was like, well, I guess if you're stressed, but I think it'd be best if you didn't. So then she finally just was like, hey, I decided not to take it. I threw the pill away. And I'm like, awesome. I'm, I'm proud of you for not taking it. Okay, well, I got a phone call from Tennessee, so I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hello? What's up? Huh? Where, 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 where are you driving?